Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. This time I am gonna be attempting to explain basic heaven functions. And basically try to teach you how to play in heaven. So, bear in mind, you will have to stay really active and it's really time consuming and probably gonna be extremely annoying if you're not planning on playing this game for a long time. I know it's been annoying for me. <laughs> So, especially if you're a free-to-play player, it's gonna be hard. So, uh, buckle up, this is probably gonna be a little bit of a longer video. A little bit of a longer video. Probably around an hour, but I'm not sure. I, I am hoping to finish in, like, 30 minutes. So, anyway... What you do in heaven? It's already kind of complicated, because there's a lot of stuff that's new. You're probably gonna have no idea what to do here. So, first things first, in my opinion, click Immortal Capital. This thing opens up, so what do you do here? That's a perfect chance to show you, because uh, I already got uh, runes. So, I already have one team of servants, which by the way, you will have to get. So, one team of servants. They are already gathering resources. You will need these resources heavily. You can actually purchase more and I do... I do say you purchase more of these uh, spots for ruins. They do cost quite a bit. And uh, you are limited to two as a free to pay player. You will need sensor to unlock the, the third. But I believe the second spot was like... Uh, 95 soul jades, I wanna say, but I'm not completely sure. So do do save those, don't spend them on other stuff, because that spot is extremely important. Speaking of, uh, you wanna try and stay as competitive as possible. I'm not gonna go for the core area, so just try not to go for the core area. You will need at least the amount of might, or attack, or whatever that is. I think it's might. Defense, actually. So you will need at least that amount, which is 50k, 50,000 right now. My secondary team has 90,000, so that would be great. I could get it, but the only problem will be that I will be destroyed by other players, which have uh, way more strength, I guess, is a better way to call it. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna teach you how to play for Ruins. And uh, considering ancient relics are kind of... Yes, as you can see, everybody got way more than my second team. But sometimes there are a few... Whoops, just clicked off. There are a few that are uh, quite low in levels on their servants. So you can actually just check manually each and you will have to do this. Because sometimes you get lucky. I almost got lucky here. Alright. We did not get lucky though. So I'm gonna have to switch to Mystery Relics 5. By the way, the lower you go, the less resources per minute you will get. And these are extremely re important resources. These are basically your resources that allow you to stay competitive in heaven. So if you press on exchange... By the way, you have like a 3 minute shield, which means for 3 minutes you will not be attacked. So you get a guaranteed 3 minutes of uh, gathering resources, but that's that's almost nothing. So if you press on exchange, you get these. This is how you get one of your servants as well. You get Neza. Which is a million two hundred thousand, which is quite a lot, but I did get it. You do need this one. And the reason you need this one is a uh, hold up. Let me let me show you. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you later. Let's go back. So exchange. You need have on patching stones as well. The reason you need these is because they're used for building the bridge. Which let me try to see if I can remember where exactly it is. Is, is it at Havon Palace? It's at Havon Palace. All right. 
Uh, for some reason, every single thing changed the uh, names. They're in. I don't even know what the frick those letter or letters are. They're normally in English for me. So I don't know what's happening. But you need these. Right? You need to build the Heaven Bridge. And I, I don't. This is the Deification Tower, which is basically another form of PvP. Another form of compete, if you will. Which, uh, if you don't know what compete is, you should be doing it daily. Compete is this. Which, as you can see right now, I'm ranked 106 on my server. Uh, let me attempt to go higher. Since I'm here and all. Nah? Okay. I did try. Alright, back to heaven. So, yeah, deification towers is another form of uh, competing with... Uh, other players for uh, resources, kind of. I don't believe you get re rewards. I haven't played all that much in this, but I'm not sure. So the way this works is you engage. You, I'll show you later. Actually, there's a lot of stuff to show in this video, so it's probably gonna be really long. I'm sorry. I'm I'm apologizing ahead of time. Oops, we back here actually. So back to ruins. Alright, let's try to do this in order. So, the lower you go, the less resources you will get. Let's place... Actually, let's, let's hit man list 20. Let's try core area. You get 50 per minute. So it jumped from... Let's see, I was trying Ancient Relics 2 at first. You know what? Yeah, so it jumps from Ancient Relics 4, which is the area I'm at right now. It jumps from 325 per minute to 50. I am getting 292, so it jumps from 325 from the core to 292 to the superior area. But th this stuff doesn't matter because it's quite a quite a lot when you're when you're uh, gathering for like three hours. Because sometimes you do get lucky and nobody bothers you. But if you do get robbed, I believe you have a limited time. Uh, limited tries, excuse me, limited tries at runes, so after a while, I don't know how many times you are allowed to be robbed by the game, but after a while you will have to restore your servants for some reason. I'm not really sure because I'm not really finding any information right now. Uh, by the way, do not spend on servant supplies, which adds one hour to current rune exploration time. Don't spend soul jades on that. That's useless. It will not... Uh... So the way this thing works is uh, you purchase it once. And then you're gonna have to purchase it one more time as well. Like, every every day you're gonna have to repurchase this. This does not add to your max and will not stay stacked. Like, you will have to restack it every day, is what I'm trying to say. You'll have to repurchase every single day. So just don't do that, it's a waste of soul jays in my opinion. Especially since... Uh, ruins are extremely competitive, so you'll probably not even get like 10 minutes sometimes. So yeah, just don't waste your soul jays. And the reason you want these, again, or the soul, the patching stone, then you get these, which are a lot of resources for your servants. Talent pills. And these as well, but talent pills I feel like are the best choice. Because these growth pills are uh, not good in my opinion. The reason they're not good is because if we click on one of our servants... So let me click on Linger, okay? This, this is the one you get for free. Uh, I feel like the game's kind of bugged right now. Alright, so you see these growth points down here? Those are basically your levels towards getting another point of talent, which talent, total talent does matter quite a lot. I was trying to... Get a another. These are your stats, by the way. So my Lingue are quite strong right now. My prestige on her is 194, apparently. 
th she got a lot of stats because I've been bumping a lot on her. Because, uh, yeah, this is Neza. Oops. Uh, actually, let me not do that. So you get Neza and you get Yandi. I believe Yandi you get from... Uh, I don't even remember. Was it Alliance? Yeah, you, you can get quite a lot of servants from quite a lot of places. Like, there's a lot of these and you will need a lot of these. You are limited to... 30 as a free-to-play player, I believe. So, most of these you get from sects, by the way. But, uh, I advise you not to spend your resources on them. Like, on the purple ones. Just wait for the yellow slash, uh, orangey colored servants. These are, like, legendaries, okay? Just use them. Use the resources on them instead. Like, especially Ling Air. She's gonna be your first... Just bump everything into her. You get her by finishing your... I believe it's called login event. Which I actually said in the first video I made. First guide. Check that out by the way, it's another hour. <laughs> you're probably not gonna wanna miss if you're stuck on Adventure 20. And uh, we go back. So that's pretty much... Actually... Kiankun Pocket is where you're fi you'll find your servant stuff. So this is how you're gonna be leveling up your servants. This is basically what you're gonna be doing. Also, don't forget to synthesize your pills. You get talent pill pieces. You get you need eight for one pill. I'm gonna use it on Ling Air as well. And this is pretty much what you do all day, every day. If you want to stay competitive in heaven. This is going to be ex extremely annoying. Also, you get these. Which, uh, these tokens can be synthesized. You need 10 apiece, I believe. So you get one of these tokens. You need like 8 or 10 of these tokens to unlock other servants. Which I can't really remember where. I believe there are... They are, uh, where they at? Linglong? Ling Long Pavilion? Linglong? No? I, d I don't remember. <laughs> like I said, heaven is extremely complicated. Actually, these are it, I think. Uh, these might actually be something else. I don't even know what this is. Hello? Alright, never mind. I, I don't really know what this is, I'm gonna be honest, so let's let's find out, okay? So apparently certain skins are stored in the corresponding skins item. Skins are categorized into profound, earth, black and yellow. I believe skins will give you more stats. Yes, they do. Increase their prestige and the ranking and probably more stats because the masks and the costumes give you, your character, more stats. So if you ever get your chance to get skins on your Ling Air or any other, get them I guess. You got Zingtian Battlefield, which again is some some form of competitive stuff, which I only managed to participate in once, cause uh, this shit is always on when I'm like at university or something, and I can't actually enter. Oh so, yeah. Back to Immortal Capital, because there's a lot of stuff to show here. So you get Contest of Tao, and you will get the request to fight. You will agree. Um, you'll get some stuff which will grant you temporary attributes for your servant. Usually I get the biggest one, but considering it's Soul Jades, I'm gonna get the second biggest one. Uh, third, actually. <laughs> so you will be using Contest Jades, primarily. You can out the contest, but I believe they are for... Uh, we got none, actually. You need some, some type of scroll. So this is basically what you're gonna be doing. If you see your HP is good, don't buy anything. Just go for another fight. If you see your HP, your HP is good, just don't buy anything. Just save your contest, Jades. This is pretty much what I do. Uh, yeah, this is random as fudge. And we just got 50 inside growth points for Ling Air. 
if your CR HP is good, don't get nothing, is what I'm usually saying. And this guy doesn't have his servants leveled up, so that's an easy kill. And that's pretty much it. You get score ranking, which, as you can see, I'm actually top 100 right now. Unexpected. You get honor ranking, which... Yeah. Yeah, you can challenge. And then you get visitor record, which is basically showing you... Who you fought? Who, who fought you while you were not here? Something like that. Now here's another another thing that's extremely complicated maybe, but like maybe at just just that first glance because it's not really all that complicated. You get spirit pets, okay? So the way spirit pet works, you interact, which I'm gonna be doing right now. So you get godhood, you will get mana, and this mana actually matters. I could dump some mana items into my my spirits right now, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. But let's see if I get a, a level 10 pet to actually show you what happens. So there we go, you can cultivate and you will grow. You'll fuse. So do this for every single pet you get. And these are all my pets I have uh, used, set for fusion, something like that. I got an Earth Grade, which apparently nobody wants to fuse with, even though it's really strong. Like, these are my fused pets right now. They are fused with other players' pets. Okay? So you get more stats by doing this. So do level up your pets, people. You will need them. You get one free company a day for each of your basic pets, which are your, your top row. Your first pet in each category. You will gain these pets by uh, doing your other stuff which I'm about to show you. I need to go back. You will do your visit. So, the reason you want your visit is because uh, these will actually give you more pets, I believe. So this is the way you unlock the other pets, I think, I feel. I don't actually remember, but I, I do believe this is how it works. So you, get, you also get some, some mana crystals and stuff. So it's a good way to get some, some more resources. You get one attempt restored every 30 minutes, I feel. I, th I think it's actually every 30 minutes. So what I'm doing now is basically playing while explaining to you guys, because, uh, yeah. Alright, back to Immortal Capital, because I cl keep clicking off it. You go to travel. This is more complicated, so do you actually want to do this? Yes and no. The only reason you would want to do this is if you had enough troops. Like if you got a lot, enough, enough troops to waste, do it. Otherwise, yeah you still need it. So you need insight and you need growth and you need intellect. The reason you need this is because you get some uh, form of item. Which is this, Spirit Pact Seals and stuff like that. Which says, used to gain Spirit Pact equals to one times of your intellect. And you will get a certain amount, which is exactly your intellect. Exactly your intellect. So you can get Servant EXP that way as well. You get your stuff here as well, which is this routine services. So do everything you can see here. This is basically the first thing you want to do in heaven. Try to do as much of that as possible. Just hit this and it's pretty much your tutorial for daily routine. Oh, that, that, this music kind of scared me. I thought it was going to be copyrighted. <laughs> Fortunately for me, it's royalty free music. Alright. Back to travel. So you want to do this only when you got enough spirit troops. The way you get spirit troops... Let me try to lower this music a little bit, because it's probably a little bit too loud, I'm not sure. But I do want you guys to actually hear me. And to actually understand what I'm saying. Alright. So, the way you get spirit troops, you go to Rome, 
and you press Spirit Pact. Yes, you create Spirit Pacts. I can make 14 right now at a time, which is a million and some. Quite a lot, actually. And you get Spirit Troops. I'm getting almost 2 million. You get 30 minutes of wait time for each pack, I believe. Yeah, so each pact, 30 minutes. Each spirit troop summoning, 30 minutes. So if you get 8, that's, let's see now, 8 times 30, 240 minutes. If we divide that by 60, it's 4 hours. So every 4 hours, if you get 8 pacts, that's pretty much... That's pretty good, actually. But yeah, I'm getting 14, which means I gotta wait more for my fall, which I actually don't mind, by the way. So, yeah. That's your Spirit Pact and making your troops. You will want to do these, but only if you got enough troops, because these burn troops like hell. Like, let me just show you. I got 30... 13 million, right? I'm gonna just do this a few times. And you'll slowly see my troops burning out like fast. Yup, already dropped a million. Barely did anything. So yeah, but do those. You will do, you, you will actually be getting quite a bit of a... Uh, I, I actually lost almost 2 million there. Uh, 1.2 million, I, I think, actually. But you will be getting... Talon pill pieces, fortune pills, which are the growth pills, uh... These other items for your servants and your actual stats, which is your might, your your actually this is still for your servant. All right, uh, you will get godhood to your pets, which does matter because I believe the more godhood they have, the better chance they have to be earth grade at least. I feel. I'm not completely sure how that works, I'm gonna be honest. But yeah, it's always better to have more. <laughs> more is better. This is a game based on numbers. The more numbers you have, the better you are. That's why usually free-to-play players get cooked. Because uh, they don't have high numbers. Yes. Anyway. After you do those... You do so. You do your ruins. You do your, your you do your ruins. You do your contest of Tao. You do your spirit path. You do travels. You do visits, and then you unlock spirit holding palace. The way you unlock this is you reach heaven immortal. So you need celestial stones for this, by the way, which is kind of a kind of a pain in the ass to get. I'm still having trouble getting mine. As you can see. Oh. You auto capture. You get these. I'm gonna confirm just because I, I'm out already. Click on Spirit and Soul. You click on the Way Astral Palace. And then you equip those uh, things, those orbs, those. Souls, those spirits, whatever you want to call them. You want at least green stuff. Why? Because you can actually upgrade those and they give you stats. They give you stats. They give you quite a lot of stats, actually. And you need every single one of these. And you did you do need purples by the way, so if you can get your hands on a purple, do not waste it. You can click on exchange at Spirit Holding Palace. And you get these spiritual souls, which means you get to choose from these. I could get these primary spirit packs right now, which contains one in a hundred or one in a thousand spirit. Those are used for, uh, let's see now, for essential soul. Alright, you get essential soul by doing that, and that's pretty much it. Also, you can disintegrate. So if you're not using anything, I recommend you do this. 
Confirm. And that's how you get essential souls. That's pretty much what you're doing with your with your unused souls, especially since you only got like yeah, see like you can't even unlock everything that early. Like I barely got unlocked with this Zivei Zivei Astral Palace or something like that. I, I barely unlocked that one. So the way this summoning or capturing works is uh, the more you summon the more you will get which means you get a chance at unlocking these detached immortal primeval chaos stuff which i mean it's pretty obvious that they're gonna be way stronger souls and you will be needing them so yeah you can also click on help and it will show you quite a lot of stuff it's gonna explain so does probability so this is a lot of stuff that explains how sh how stuff works basically but you do need those because it's a lot of stats like if we click on spirit and soul you can see my my total attributes one now my total attributes from uh, the spirit and soulment or not that high but they're decent also rejuvenation means you're getting uh, basically lifesteal on hit all right so immortal capital we are kind of done explaining that you get pantheon which is not available yet on my server uh i could jump on another one attempt to explain but i'm not really sure myself so just just click on the help function on that one i guess you get Kunlun Meeting, which is something you get to redeem stuff for servants. It's an event, basically. And I haven't participated in because I don't have these. So you need signets. Which I don't really know how to get. You get from ranking events, apparently. Alright, we are not ranked high enough. <laughs> so we are clicking on Heaven Palace. Deification Tower. And we're gonna be fighting, we are gonna be using one attempt, and this is basically your compete, right? So you're having equivalent to compete. You look at total prestige. We got 500,000. I'm be going for the next one under me. And Jama just skip. we did, apparently. Okay. So you just try to select them in such an order that they're not too high on prestige so you can actually win your fights the more you win the better spirit bond or divine bond you get all right so you just select them in such an order that you are able to actually win just try to not get too high too high uh, prestige guys just go for like the middle sometimes that works best and you can see I won 4 out of 5 which is decent we got 21k we ranked 77 in one attempt brother what do you mean let me check the rankings actually so yo these are the money spenders by the way this guy the goat faced one top place he actually ascended first <laughs> so as you can see the the faster you ascend the better you will be in heaven basically okay so let's actually check 77 78 oh we got a lot of points extra actually we're, we were about to rank up to 76 okay so yeah, that's basically your deification tower, and I believe you get uh, rewards every time this ends, but because this is basically an event, it's not like your com your normal compete. And then you get this, which is your South Heaven Gate, which uh, you can worship. I'm a worship Dracul, why not? You can challenge as well for the title, but or uh, or the place. But yeah, this is basically some type of event as well. Also, PvP kinda. But yeah, you get spirit souls by, by worshipping them. And then you get Cloud Hall, which I believe has your, your people that ascended and have 
awesome ass titles and are really strong. <laughs> yes. And you can worship again. Can I worship multiple times? No, you can only worship once. But you get celestial stones. Or, uh, was it spirit stones? I do believe I read celestial stones. Let me actually check. Yes, alright. Also, since we are at shop, you get Fuxi Soul. 600 Celestial Souls. It's a Celestial Level 2. Pretty good one. Get it if you can. It's a Servant. Yeah, since, since we're here and we're pretty much done with that place, we have Palace. Let's, let's just stick to Immortal Pavilion. So, do you want these? Not completely sure. Not completely sure. The reason I say I'm not completely sure is because... Uh, I'm not sure how much stronger they are than your normal stuff you get. I haven't used these in a while. Uh, let me make sure... My music stays within the playlist, if you know what I mean. Alright? I don't want to get copyright striked. Because sometimes YouTube just just jumps. Alright, so you can actually get at uh, Sutra's Pavilion. You can get these books as well, which will help towards your enlightenment and uh, gain more cultivation base. So, faster realms. Uh, yeah, I mean, the shop pretty much explains itself. I don't really think there's any use of me being here, other than maybe the body fruits, which you will gain small amounts of. Hey, there we go, we got robbed. Alright, I can actually show you what happens when you get robbed. So, you get robbed, you have to go back and attempt to get a place. Now, that's gonna be a little bit annoying, because they are actually taken, but this one's a little bit lower levels. Lower prestige, or might, or strength, or whatever you want to call it. So, yes. We got our place, and we stole some resources, because we are robbing. But that's pretty much what happens when you get robbed, and when you still have uh, attempts at going to ruins. The more servants you have, the more attempts you will have to go at the ruins, by the way, so get more servants. More servants, always better. Let's see now, what's what's next? What should I be explaining next? Uh, Jing Cheng? This is another event, which has not started yet. Uh, let's go to Rome. Actually, let's, let's go to servants. So, you can use your talent pills here. But I got none. These tabs are... This is for your skins, which I have no skin owned right now. These are your pets. If you click on ride, you see these are my... These are all my my, my beasts, my, my immortal beasts. These are basically your eggs. They, they hatch, you level them up, and yeah, that's pretty much it. They give, you, they give you extra stats, they give your servants extra stats. I'm using my, my dragon, which is my highest stored. Beast, which is your free beast you get at the start. And yeah, that, that's about it. So the way you level your servants is you upgrade. You need the EXP. These are all the ways you get them. You get them at Outer World, Travel, Fortune Land, Rome Wandering, Demon Ceiling Tower. By the way, at Fortune Land, I believe you only get Servant EXP after a certain realm, which I believe to be half immortal. Because before that, I was still getting normal stuff, normal pills and such. After that, you get growth pills for your servant's talents. So yeah, you will need uh, at level 100. Can I show you right now? That's the question. Right? You know what? Sure. Let me show you. So you, you click on upgrade. You can go from key gathering realm to foundation. You need soul pills. Right? 
get you need one of each for your level up and you do want to level their realms because their stats increase by 500 each time at least for uh, the first stage i'm not sure about the second and uh, later on but yeah a servant's pretty decent right now pretty decent they're definitely not the strongest because some people have like 3 million strength on them but yeah mine's at like 400,000 on my first team probably lower actually more like 380,000 all right enough of that so servants yes you get heaven sect this is one of the first things you want to do in heaven as well be sure to do this on first day so you go to reception hall do this you send your invitation um i can't really show you how to make a sex right now i feel if we actually you click on location this is where you will make your sex mines on the first mountain which uh, a lot of people have claimed as their home not sure how that affects me though you get rifts but you can only do rifts once you click on uh oops master's lobby why is the writing all fudged up? Hello? Oh, I can't explain this properly. So you click on this. So second to the top, right? You will need this because uh, you get more disciples. What is this? So these are your salaries. These are all my disciples right now. I got 30. You will pay salaries towards uh, your disciples. You will import your cultivation you will uh, answer questions for merit you will be a custodian which will give you more merit which you do need merit by the way it's another type of currency you lecture for merit and then you send them gifts which also involve merit now then you get missions so if you got enough disciples with enough uh, like high enough realm and enough sect fame you will be able to do higher missions higher level missions which they give you more sect fame more spirit stones more merit and more rep that's pretty much it sermon you can transfer your power to a random individual and you will get 300 merit. Bear in mind it does cost you a hundred, uh, 10, 000, 10 million actually. 10 million cultivation base to import. But you will be getting 300 merit for that. It's kind of a lot actually. You get immortal tutorial which uh, you need to spend soul jade for each of these. So these are the masks you randomly see people wearing. That's people from heaven giving them to people from earth realm. And then you do this. Which is all that. Like, I'm not really sure what's it. What's it saying? Protect. Okay. So yeah. It just gives a protection period to everybody. Yeah. More, more cultivation efficiency. More attributes. That's pretty much all this does it, it buffs people from from earth so it allows them to rank faster the more people you have uh, ascended the better because earth level earth realm actually will level up and yeah it's gonna be easier to do the adventure 20. Our, i think our realm is currently level five which means it's Quite a lot easier than when I started. It was level 0 back then. You also got blessings, which... Only do this if you got enough... Uh, spirit stones, by the way. You will get 50 merit each time you bless. Which is quite a lot. Considering you're blessing 10 times a day. And then you get your mantle, which is... Uh, one of the main reasons you want to unlock... Uh, I don't want to say main reason actually, unless you got body fruits. But yeah, you need body fruits for gaining more cultivation base. This is another form of getting cultivation base. And I think also enlighten. I'm, I'm not completely sure. 
anyway, you get physical as well, so you get more... I believe it's HP. Yes, I believe... I do believe for physical it's more hit points. Let me see my logs. So it's vital energy plus 50. Uh, I do remember it seeing strength plus 50 at one time. Anyway, I need to meditate t seven more times to reach an epiphany. I think I've meditated like three, five times so far. Those darn body fruits are annoying the git. More like you don't even get them unless you spend soul jades. Like the only way I got them was through events, I feel. And uh, random giveaways from the game developers. That's pretty much how I got my body fruits so far. Yes. So you still have Beast Garden, which is where you level up your beast. You get your skills, you can refine said skills, but you need herbs. You can upgrade, but you need you need heaven pills. You get talents, which does give you more stuff toward your servants, if they are mounted toward uh, on that beast. You can feed. Feeding gives you levels. This is how you get your feeding uh, stuff. So, the better the levels of the beast, the more score it'll have, the more uh, stats, attributes it'll have. I'm currently mounted on this one. You don't really want to relive, reroll, or uh, bloodline. I feel you get through eating other beasts, which I'm not gonna be doing because I need my beasts right now. But I feel like that's how you gain more stars, which means stronger beast. And you can set free, which I don't advise you to. I just normally would say just do the bloodline if you got useless beasts. Just do bloodline, like I got the Flood Dragonling right now, mounted on Neza. I would probably eat this if I get a better one, but uh, unless I don't need it, I'm not gonna do anything with it, I'm just gonna leave it mounted. So... Instruction. Read this. <laughs> it's a lot. Guide. You basically can guide people to heaven. I'm gonna do a random lead, and that's about it. I'm only able to guide every 100 years. You can do a, a directed guide, I believe. So, if you got a friend playing with you, or family member, or whatever, on the, ser the same server, you can actually lead them with your beast straight to heaven, if they have passed Adventure 20 and are on the gate. So you get the array as well, which is down here. By the way, you can actually rename, but it'll, it'll cost you a little. So these. Level them up. Oh. oh okay. So you want to level them up according to these instructions. If you can, if at all possible. I mean, I don't really need the vital, vitality energy, because it's useless, but... The stats they give, is the good, so they, you want to level them up anyway. So you pretty much want to level them up anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's see now. Male Volant Jade. Uh, these and these. Alright, so you want to level them up to level 10. For a 2% increase. And I believe it's yeah, it's a hundred, it's one point five k dexterity at first level. Yes, just level those up, and you'll you'll be getting a lot of stats. And you do get these daily from doing your roaming and stuff like that. Uh, I can't see. All right, let me not do that right now. So I think that pretty much covers up the sect. You can relocate, but I'm not sure how that helps. You get markets. I mean, markets pretty much explain themselves. There's really nothing to explain. You can get free... I mean, they're not free. You're, you're using merit, but... You can get high-level books this way. Which is usually what I'm doing. 
Th that's why I got low merit right now. That's how I've been getting. That's how I've been getting my books. I've been talking for quite a while. My 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 voice starts to <clears throat> kind of fade. All right. So, Rome. Uh, I can't go back. Oh, that's because I'm wandering, actually. So we can actually wander. We can roam in heaven realms. We can soul wander in heaven realms, basically. We also get the immortal pavilion right here in Rome. And yeah, just do these. These are extremely hard sometimes. As you can see, I'm still not able to pass this one. Which is uh, Rome 4. Which is really annoying because... Look at this. So it does so much damage. And I'm not all that weak. Like you saw, I'm, I'm ranked quite high on the server. I'm not all that weak. I'm just unable to do it. And if we check my attributes, I'm like, what? 320k attack? 260k defense. My HP is quite big. I need to tone that down a little bit. My evasion is quite low as well, which is what I'm trying to get up right now. But, yeah. I'm not that weak. That's just really strong. It's, it's really hard to deal with. But uh, I have not done these yet, and I've never been to Void Cracks, which I am not really sure what happens here. I've never been here. <laughs> So if you ever get there, do let me know in the comment sections what happens. I may not play until I get there. I may just quit again. Yup. So we get Outer World as well, which uh, it hasn't reset for me right now. Which is annoying, but uh, yeah, you just click on one of these and you engage. And that's about it. Just engage every time. Uh, you got Vanity Variation, which you unlock after Rome 20, which you can see I still got a long way to get there. Then you get Hell, which you will be spending 100 merit each time to attack one of these Hell Beasts, or Demons, or whatever. And as you can see, they're decent strong. And you get like, what, a couple of attempts a day, like 7 or something like that? Oh, this one almost... okay. Yeah. Alright. You also got Hell Market, where you can spend said resource. I am trying to save for Immortal Beast Eggs, which hopefully I can get a 4 star. But that's gonna be real annoying. It's quite expensive. Then you get Demon Tower, which Demon Tower... You get demons by roaming and beating up these bosses. And then uh, they get in here. You capture, you capture those demons. You seal them, and you get extra stuff for your servants. As you can see, I have quite a lot captured right now. I could get more, but I need them to restore my servants. And this is what I got from that one sealing I just did on those beasts, on those demons. Oh yeah. Free, free stats, free stats on your servants, and you want to do that daily, so you will be needing strong servants, a lot of troops, because otherwise you're not going to be able to advance in there, but the, basically the stronger your servant, the more damage it will do to the beast. This is always a way to get servant stuff as well. Also, level 2 Yin Soul Pills, which I believe are needed quite soonish. At level 150? Yes, it actually says level 150 servant to gold core. Okay. So that's your next pill. And that's pretty much Rome explained, I guess. Is there anything else I've missed in heaven? I'm not sure. So just do your main storyline. Do your routine services. 
do not forget to always check your mails for people that try to rob you or will rob you actually or have robbed you more like do your ruins always check your time because you get like three hours i believe for a uh, a ruin run basically And uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if there's anything I've missed. Is there anything I've missed in heaven? I don't think there is. Um, I think that's pretty much heaven explained. Well, except for the Pantheon, Jingtian Battlefield, which is another event. You get these. Kunlun meeting, another event which I cannot access. You're kind of limited as a free-to-play player as well, so... Yeah. Anyway... I think that's pretty much it for the video. Just do those. Don't forget to always check these. Because you will be getting extra stuff from these events. Up here. Up here, near your mail. We are doing sermon trials right now, which you can get a skin if you're paying, but I am not. This is a lot of stuff you can get as well, which is really annoying because I can't get most of it. I need those beast spirit bloods. But yeah, I'm probably gonna end up getting low grade beast blood veins to increase my EXP or uh, some talisman stuff. Oh, yeah. Speaking of talismans, that's what I what I've not explained. Uh, relics. So these are stuff you get for free when ascending, basically, I believe. You check your skills. You can always upgrade. Almost all. I mean, not almost up, always, but you reach certain milestones, you can upgrade these. As you can see, I have upgraded mine a little bit. Not much, but yeah, just click on help. It'll tell you what you need to do. And uh, you get Talisman. Which are quite annoying. You do need to upgrade them. And I will upgrade my sword right now. Let's see if I can upgrade anything else. I could upgrade my hat. But uh, it's giving me HP. I don't really want HP. I don't want to waste my points on HP. I'm gonna save, probably. Even though it's giving me 300 strength, I, I need these Origin Souls, these Origin Essence. You get those at Operation Event and Demon Tower. You also need to craft them, so after doing your roams, you will get Talismans, which are gonna be in your inventory as like a blueprint. And you'll have to go to Earth, Dwelling. Equipment room, you'll need level 5 blacksmith, so make sure you level that up as soon as possible. Preferably before you finish Rome 1 in heaven. You click forge, and uh, you will need a level 4 forge at least. Why level 4? So, level 4 means a 70% chance of success on your forging. I need a bracelet right now, and I need these. So you'll need these materials. You get them through roaming and through Alliance Affair. Now, the most annoying one to get is the Alliance Affair one. Because you only get limited per day. Which I believe I just got my max. My needed amount, actually. Let me, let me try to see. A... Alright, so, level 4, at least a level 4 furnace, a cauldron actually. So level 4, because 70%, it's 70% chance. If you don't have level 4, don't do it. I did it with a 30%, I, I botched like 3 items. So that's a lot of wasted resources, don't do that. But, yeah. The way you get your forge, your cauldron leveled up, is through sect. You click on Chief, Disciple, Exchange, 
And you get sacked order. You get these tokens. You want these tokens. Also, this is how you get your pills as well. So, right now, I need half immortal pills. Which I kind of forgot to get. You need to get these daily, by the way. So, keep doing your... Soul wandering in adventures. So you can have your pills. You can get other pills at alchemy. Or you, all your level 1s. All of your level 1s. Which you do need, by the way. They give you quite a decent uh, boost in strength. Not much, but it's decent. Especially since you can level those up. You, you get level 2 blueprints. Level 3, 4, 5. I don't even know. I think it goes up to level 9. And uh, yeah, this is these are your furnace plans. You, you need a level three cauldron, by the way. So get that. Let's see. There we go. So this is your level four cauldron around the middle. So it's after level nine furnace. You buy this, you make it, so you are able to craft the level five, right? So this is how you advance. You. You buy a level 4 cauldron plan, you make it in a level 3 furnace, when you are level 4. So your blacksmith needs to be level 4, at least, otherwise you are unable to learn the plan. And then you make the level 5. So you, you need to actually be level 5 in order to learn the plan and craft it, so make sure you are level 5 before you purchase. And that's pretty much blacksmith and alchemy explained, because that's how you do your furnace levels as well. For uh, alchemy, for pill making. But uh, yeah, you can access talisman and relics from Earth Realm as well. And you can refine your items, but you need this, which is from Void Events, which I have not unlocked yet, because that's extremely hard to get to. <laughs> Void cracks, yep. So you got like, what, 20 adventures? Uh, 20 roam levels? I still need these, by the way. I only got four. I'm gonna get five? That's about it. Let me let me actually check Custodian. I've never been here. Um, Not sure how you get these. I'm gonna be honest. Ooh. Okay, this is new to me as well. Ooh. Okay, Ho hold the phone. I just this is the first time I'm be I'm here as well, so I'm gonna have attempt to learn it as I'm trying to explain it. So talisman has custodian level. Talismans can gain increase of basic attributes. Yes. Okay. Talisman has custodian array. Servants can be dispatched to a different array. You can gain. Array bonus by activating array, which you should meet the requirements of the array first. Custodian servants should be no more than talisman's capacity in single talisman. Capacity will increase by upgrading. Servant can be in one custodian array at the same time, so no more than one array. When there are enough servants meeting the requirements in the array, extra increase will be added to the array. Max level is 50. Okay. So, basic attributes, kinda. Kinda basic attributes. Ooh. Auto up? Oh, you need certain... Okay, you need certain servants. So I do not have these unlocked, I believe. Wait, do I? Auto? Oh, we do have. For this one, at least. So, custodian bonus percentage. Zero. Well, damn. We just unlocked this one. Okay. Let's see now. Do we get more? Hmm. Okay. I can't really do this. Auto up? Can I? That's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much it. 
I uh, don't want this one actually. Can I remove? Can you even remove? I would like to go with Linger, but uh, it, it's asking me for Neza. Anyway, cancel. No? Auto? Confirm? Okay. Alright, so that's pretty much your custodian. And that's a lot of arrays. Holy. You need certain servants, by the way, apparently. So, yeah, there, there's another reason to get more servants. Your custodian arrays at Talisman. And you can upgrade. And you need these. Alright. So you get these from events. You get these from Void. You get these from Operation Events and Demon Tower. And that's about it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else I have missed. Maybe Spirit? No, we've been here. Uh, clothes? You don't really need to know about these, I guess, but... Yeah, just if you get a mask, you will get an increase of stats. I got mine from Boutique, which is at Immortal Market. Boutique, you watch one of these ads, you open one time, or five. And that's how you get some soul, some uh, Celestial Stones as well. And that's pretty much it. Oh, by the way, as a bonus for this video, the way you get Mirage Cloth, you sell these. Right? So you can sell masks, you can pretty much sell everything you get in here that's a skin or an outfit. Or an avatar, whatever, an aura. And you can redeem here, right? Yeah, that's, that, that's pretty much explaining the boutique as well. This was a bonus, a little bit of a bonus. You don't really need any of these as a free-to-play player. This is all for... Uh, Basically for spenders. For real money spenders. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I have actually helped some people that have no idea how to play in heaven. And uh, this is an event. I don't really know what this is. I'm not budge with it. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.